Okay, everyone, I got a Cabrina bar here. This is one of those Overdrive 1X whatever. I've used this thing about six times, and today, while cutting, these things just came right off. Now, I keep this thing in my house, in an air conditioning, always sitting there with my stuff, and look, like, this is, I've had so many bars. I've been cutting for almost 20 years. And this one's brand new and it's just falling apart. Now I like the bar. I'm just saying that they got some quality issues here. And I'm hoping that they're gonna send me something to fix this. But in the meantime, I'm gonna clean this with some rubbing alcohol and take off all the tacky stuff uh, along with those things. And then I'm gonna use some rubber cement and rubber cement it back on, which will probably work just as well as this one did for the next six times I use it. Well, maybe less because there's this stuff if I can't get it off. Well, let's see how it works. So what I'm doing is I'm wiping it down with rubbing alcohol, trying to get off any of this stuff that's on here. And it's taking off any sand that's around because you want it to be clean. I'm also gonna do these on the inside. We're gonna clean that off like so, all the way, and get that ready for some rubber cement. Now these are falling off, which are in a specific space. So I'm just gonna glue these from where they are and hope that they're underneath here so they should hold in place, just as they didn't fall off today too much. They almost fell off, but not close up. This bar is brand new. It's, the lines are still crisp. It's ridiculous. I can't believe this. Anyhow, so this is a video on before you buy a Cabrina bar, you got to know this. This could happen to you. And then you see those trees moving in the wind? Will I be able to use this tomorrow? That is the question. For this repair, I have some of this slime rubber cement. We're gonna see how that works. This will be our test area. I'm gonna glue in there and then push it down and tack, 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 tack. So with rubber cement, what you do is you do one side, you do the second side, you let them dry for a couple of minutes or 30 seconds, a minute, and then you hold it together and then it stays forever. Let's hold that open like that. We're gonna take our rubber cement right here and we're just going to go with it right in there now i just dropped it on my foot which was annoying so you kind of just smear it on there now you want it to get tacky before you put them together so here we go it looks like it's pretty dry Eh, not quite. Okay, there we go. If you look at the grips here, they're in perfect condition. I had this thing fall off while I was out there in like 10 foot waves and I'm like trying to stick it down my shirt so that it don't lose it. Is that what you're supposed to do when you buy a like $500 bar or whatever this thing costs? It's some ridiculous amount of money. When putting it back together, you can kind of see the shoddy craftsmanship that, like, it doesn't even, like, fit right. I hate to be critical, but when you spend a lot of money and it's trying to keep you safe from dying, they can't glue a freaking thing on. This thing's brand new. I brushed it on there, and now you just gotta wait for that to dry. Because this is probably what happened. They didn't wait for it to dry when they put it on and then it was just a little wet and then it never fully stuck. So you do one side like that and then we gotta do this side. It's drying on here now. Um, I had to think of something that I'm gonna be able to hold it in place with because it looks like, you know, when you gotta hold pressure on it. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it in uh, painter tape just to keep it pressure on it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it with my pinky here. Watch, we'll, we'll hit the little thing. Oh, you can't really see, there you go. You see, it's tacky, tacky. That means it's pretty dry. We're gonna wrap it with the other thing. The 
first thing we're gonna have to do is line up these little holes with those little holes. And then we'll wrap it around from there. The second coat's looking much better. It's got a little more stick to it. It's like a, almost dry. Okay, so we've lined up these guys and it does feel like it's sticking pretty well right in there. I'm gonna push around one side and then do the other side next. So as I'm doing this, I have to stretch around from this side, like pushing really hard to get this into the area. And then this one is going to come over. You can kind of tell when you look at it that this was once on top of here, but it looks like it shrank or something. Or maybe I'm just not as strong as a machine, but something went wrong here. It looks like it probably never was perfect and it's not going to be. As long as it stays on there, I don't you look around. Now it looks pretty perfect. I don't think it was ever perfect. That's just how it was. We're gonna see if this holds. Because it feels good on this side, I'm gonna do what I did to that side, to this side, and then we'll be up and running. On the last one, I didn't do this, but you see this edge? It was at one time covered with the um, rubber cement. That's right here, this edge. So we're gonna re-rubber cement that edge. I had some on there that I think Held it together though so it should be fine. You want to make sure you get this thing fully covered with the rubber cement because you don't really want to do it. I went right over this whole grip area because who cares it's gonna come off anyhow. So when you're do when you're doing this I don't know if you can see this I'm pushing down like uh, this is lined up right here and I'm pushing it around to make it so that everything is in the right place and far down. So when I flip this over here, we'll be able to see, see how this, you push this up to that. You can see the, the line of the old glue and you want it to make it to there. And now this is gonna close up, you see, right there. You're gonna pull it down over from the top like that. get it to cover if you look at this this is probably why it came off to begin with because you had just a little and then it gets under there and it rips up it's a poor design but it works well besides this just to keep pressure on it for tonight I wrapped it in some tape it feels like if I got some good tape I could just wrap this in tape and it would be good for comfy but we'll wrap this one. I went all the way from this inside area and I pulled it this direction so that would, the tape would pull it down over that. We'll see how it works. Okay, we're gonna let it sit like that and see how it looks in the daylight. If you look here, I've used this thing about 10 times since I fixed it. We got a little delamination here, but it's been holding together pretty well. So I recommend my fix. 